Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at the Onda Mini range of air source heat pumps. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so for those of you that follow the blog or have watched my other videos on this channel, you'll know that I talk a lot about air source heat pumps. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Onda Mini range of air source heat pumps. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to decide whether it's something that would or would not be useful for you. Now, before we get going, it's always a good opportunity for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel hit that like button, hit that notification to be notified when my videos go live. I put two videos out in long format, which is like this, every single week and a whole bunch of shorts too. There's loads of content, free content available on my channel. And my channel is all about building DIY hot tubs and plunge pools in your backyard. So hopefully you'll find it useful. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so what is the Onda Mini range of air source heat pumps? Well, they look like this and it is a range of three mini air source heat pumps. They come in three and a half kilowatt, five kilowatt, and seven kilowatts of heating capacity. What's different about a mini air source heat pump, certainly the under range, is that they actually plug directly into an outlet. So they come with a regular plug, you plug them into a socket or an outlet, and that takes away the need for any electrical work in terms of, of getting the air source heat pump set up. So really, really simple in terms of the electrical installation of a mini air source heat pump. These are also made in Europe and that might come as a surprise to some of you because they are made in Europe, European build quality with, dare I say it, Chinese made prices. No disrespect to China because pretty much everything is made there. However, this on the range of air source heat pumps is not, it is made in Europe. So that's slightly different as well. And what makes a mini air source heat pump is the heating capacity. So this particular range only goes up to seven kilowatts. Perfect for our hot tubs and small plunge pools, but we're not gonna be running anything like a swimming pool on this kind of a air source heat pump. It's just too small. You're just not gonna get enough heat out of it. Okay, so what are the differences between a mini air source heat pump and a regular one? Well, obviously the physical size, these are quite small, which means it's quite easy to find a location in your backyard, even if it's quite a small and enclosed space that you can actually fit the air source heat pump. So that's the first thing. Secondly, I've already mentioned the installation electric wise is a plug. So you're just putting that straight into a outlet or a socket. And thirdly, the COP. Now COP, if you've watched previous videos on air source heat pumps, is the coefficient of performance. It's a fancy term for how good is the air source heat pump at taking an electrical input and turning it into heat. Bigger COP means bigger heating capacity, means more efficient. So with the mini air source heat pumps, certainly the under range, you're getting somewhere an, an average. So the average COP I'm deriving from sort of the different ambient temperatures. Now, a lot of manufacturers will give you some great COPs at, at 26 Celsius, but you know we, we know that we don't get that very often. So what I like to do is kind of average that across with this particular mini range of air source heat pumps, you're gonna get around about four to four and a half in terms of COP. So that means that one kilowatt of electricity in is gonna give you four to four and a half kilowatts of heat out. Can we use the Onda Mini range of air source heat pumps all year round? Unfortunately not. This is not an all year round air source heat pump. The reason is because once the ambient temperature drops below around eight degrees or 47 Fahrenheit, that unit is not gonna be outputting anything like that four or four and a half COP. It's gonna drop much, much lower. It might be at parity. It might even be less than parity. So this is not an all year round air source heat pump. So let's talk about the positives of the Onda Mini air source heat pump. Well, firstly, the price. It's a really low priced unit that's a low barrier of entry into the market of heating your hot tub with an air source heat pump. So it's definitely something to consider if you are on a budget, you will still make those savings in terms of, you know, you get roughly four times the heat for the electricity that you're putting in. So there is a saving to be made there. 
and that, as I said, the price point is much lower than the regular air source heat pumps. The fact that it plugs in makes an installation really, really simple. And I will do a separate video of how we actually plumb this into our hot tubs as well. And I'll put a link underneath this video to the blog post where I've already covered that as well. So you can check that out if you're wondering how you can actually install this onto your existing hot tub. The other thing I really like about the Onda Mini range of air source heat pumps is the fact that it's such a small footprint. Now, I've already mentioned that if you've got a small backyard, it's quite an easy unit to, to find a location for. However, in terms of the size, the other thing that you can do if you're using one of the connection kits that I've put together is during those months where it's too cold to use and you're not gonna use it, you can physically disconnect it and then go and store it away. It's not like the regular air source heat pumps that have a quite a large footprint. They're big, they're heavy units. You know, these are much, much smaller, so you can disconnect them and then store them away for those colder months, bring them back out when it's you know spring temperatures have risen slightly, and you know it will get that COP running for you again. So something to think about that you can actually store these away. If you're decommissioning your hot tub for the winter, you don't use it then. For me, it's no good because I use mine all year round, so it'd be a non-starter. However, if you do de decommission your hot tub in the winter months, then this could be a very viable option for you. So what about the negatives to the Onda Mini range of air source heat pumps? Well, I think that the fact that it only goes up to seven kilowatts for me is a negative because it doesn't really give us an option to use it on you know, very large hot tubs or, or large plunge pools. Coupled with that is the fact that it's not all season. So this cannot be used all year round because of that temperature rating. So for me, that would be a non-starter. But as I said, if you do decommission your tub or you're happy to use electric as well, then this could be a, again, very cost-effective means of entering into running your hot tub with an air source heat pump. And finally, the other negative for me is that lower COP. However, you can make your own decisions on this because if you weigh up the COP versus the price point, and then you compare that to a regular air source heat pump as a COP, maybe an average of somewhere between six to nine, you know, for you, is it worth the, the initial investment? I'll let you make that your own decision on that point. But for me, I think the COP is a little bit low. And certainly for me, the fact that I couldn't use it all year round would mean that this was a non-starter for me. But there's lots of you out there that don't use your hot tubs in the winter, you shut them down and you only use them in the warmer months. So this could be an incredible way of reducing your running costs of your hot tubs without costing the earth to get it set up. So definitely something to consider. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.